In this lesson, we're going to look at the gravity and occlusion options, which are available for all four of the different snapping modes. I'm going to enable point snapping from the radial menu, and I use the hotkeys Control Shift plus J to open the snapping options. Here we have this gravity slider, the apply to and the properties menus. And this same set of options are also available on the grid, primitive and multi tabs. And so if I switch to the primitive tab, we can see this same set of options are available here. And we also get this pop up warning when I switch to a different tab, just letting me know that I'd be adjusting options for a snapping mode, which I don't currently have selected. We get the same set of options and that same warning if we're to switch to the grid or the multi snap tab. We can also access the apply to and properties options for each of the different snap modes by right clicking over the snap buttons in the left hand toolbar. And we can also open the snap options window at the appropriate tab at the bottom of this right click menu here. This has switched me back to the point tab because that's the snapping mode that I currently have enabled. And let's take a look at this first gravity option. Gravity affects how strongly the target geometry attracts the selected geometry. The gravity value is a distance in pixels. So at the default value of 10, if I select this control knob object here and move it towards one of these points on the edge of this base panel, the selected object doesn't get snapped to the target until I'm within 10 screen pixels of a target geometry component. If I change this gravity value to say 100 pixels, then we see the selected object gets snapped as soon as I move it within 100 screen pixels of a target component. I'll just change this back to a value of 10 because this works pretty well for my current screen resolution and setup. We're not going to look at any of these apply to options at this point. The first three of these only really apply when we're working at the geometry level, when we're creating and editing geometry components. And we're probably not going to be dealing with x-ray geometry until we start looking at rigging and creating bones. What we're going to focus on for the rest of this lesson and the next few lessons are these properties under this properties menu here. The first of these options is occlusion. And when occlusion is checked, it prevents snapping to components which are concealed behind other geometry components in the current view. If we take a look at the underside of this cylindrical base object, we can see that it actually has quite a lot of geometry detail on this back side. And directly below this cylindrical base object, we've got this torus object. So with occlusion turned on, which is the default setting, if I rotate my view to the point where this top cylindrical base object is completely occluding this torus object from view, and now I move the switch object to snap it to one of these points on the top here, we can see that Houdini is only allowing us to snap to the points that we can actually see. If I turn off the occlusion and move the switch object to snap it to a different point, now we can see in the area around the cursor, we're getting a ghost of template of all the points on the underside of this base object and on the torus object below, which lets us know that they're all being considered as target components to snap to. In fact, I'll just tap the W key to switch to wireframe mode whilst I'm hovering over these points, just so we can see those points below this top surface. I'll switch back to shader mode, and if I snap the selected object to one of these ghost of target points, we can see that the control knob's been snapped to this point on the torus. I'll just turn the occlusion back on and snap the switch object back to one of these points on the top of this cylindrical base object again. And we can see as I hover over these points again that only the points on the top of the cylinder are now being considered as a target component to snap to. So that's a look at how we can adjust the sensitivity and strength of the snapping using the gravity slider and how we can use the occlusion property to choose whether or not occluded geometry components are considered as targets for snapping. 